Hello everyone. Today in this address, we are going to find the horizontal deflection at B, horizontal and vertical deflection at D, and horizontal and vertical deflection at C. Areas for every members are given. The Young's modulus for all of the members is same. We have to make this table. In the table, first we need to enter all of the members. Then we have to find the values of P. Those are the values of member forces. Before that, we need to find the reactions. In the point A, there is a hinged support. So there will be two reactions. And at B, we have a roller support. Here there is only vertical reaction. First, I am going to find the vertical reaction VA. For that, I am going to take moment about B. Let us keep clockwise as positive and anticlockwise as negative. VA is acting in the clockwise direction, so it will be positive. And the distance is 8, so 8 to VA. This load 16 kN is acting in the clockwise direction, so it is also positive and the distance is 6. This load is acting in the anticlockwise direction, so it will be negative and the distance is 8. For this load, there is no perpendicular distance, so we should not take it. For VA, we will get 20 kN. Let us apply this rule and find VB. VA and VB are acting upwards, so both of them are positive. These two are acting downwards, so both of them are negative. For VB, we will get 60 kN. Let us apply this rule and find HA. This is acting towards the right side, so it will be positive. HA is acting towards the left side, so it will be negative. For HA, we will get 16 kN. Now we can find the member forces. First, I am going to take the joint A and find the member forces. First, let us apply this rule. FAD and 20 both are acting upwards, so both of them are positive. For FAD, we will get minus 20. Let us apply this rule. 16 is acting towards the left side, so it will be negative. FAB is acting towards the right side, so it will be positive. For FAB, we will get 16 kN. Now let us take the joint C and find the member forces. First, let us apply this rule. Both of them are acting downwards, so both of them are negative. For FBC, we will get minus 48. Using this rule, we will come to know that FCD is equal to 0. Now, we are going to take the join to B and to find the member force BD. Before that, we need to find this angle. Let us keep this angle as theta. Let us take this triangle. In this triangle, let us use the tan theta formula. That will be the opposite side upon adjacent side. The opposite side is 6 meter. The adjacent side is 8 meter. So 6 upon 8. For theta, we will get 36.87. Let us use this rule and find FBD. FBD is inclined. We have to resolve it in the horizontal direction. To keep it horizontal, we need this angle. So with the FBD, we have to multiply cos 36.87. Since it is acting towards the left side, it will be negative. FAB is acting towards the left side, so it is also negative. Just before we have found FAB, we can apply that. For FBD, we will get minus 20. Let us enter all of the values of P. Then we have to enter all of the lengths of the members. Length of AB and CD is 8. Length of AD and BC is 6. To find the length of BD, we can use Pythagoras theorem that is root of 8 square plus 6 square. We will get 10 meter. Let us enter all of the lengths. Then we have to enter all of the areas. The areas for all of the members are given, but they are given in millimeter square. We need to convert them into meter square. For that, we have to divide every area by thousand into thousand so that we will get the values in meter square let us enter all of the values of areas now we are going to find the values of k let us see how to find them first we are going to find the horizontal deflection at b 
For that we have to remove all of the loads from the truss and then we have to apply horizontal unit load at B. You can see that I have removed all of the loads and I have applied unit load in the horizontal direction at B. I have applied the unit load towards the right side because I assume that the horizontal deflection occurs towards the right side. Later if we get a negative value that means our assumption is incorrect. Then we can change the direction. Now we have to find the member forces. Those are the values of K. Before finding the member forces, we have to find these three reactions. Let us take a moment about B and find VA. VA is acting in the clockwise direction, so it will be positive. And the distance is 8, so 8 to VA. For HA, unit force and VB, there is no perpendicular distance. So except VA, there is nothing. So A to VA will be equal to 0. So for VA, we will get 0. Since VA is equal to 0, we can remove that. I have removed VA. By applying this rule for VB, we will get 0. VB also we can remove. Here I have removed that. Now let us apply this rule and find HA. HA is acting towards the left side, so it will be negative. The unit force is acting towards the right side, so it will be positive. In this way, for HA, we will get 1. In the joint A, we can apply the rule sigma V is equal to 0. From that, we will come to know that the member force AD is 0. In the joint C, we can apply the rule sigma V is equal to 0. So that we will come to know that the member force BC is 0. Also in the joint C, we can apply the rule sigma H is equal to 0. From that we will come to know the member force CD is also 0. Then we can take the joint D. We can use any one of the rule. We will come to know that the member force in BD also is 0. So except AB, all of the member forces are 0. If you wanted to know the shortcuts to find the zero force members very easily, see the description below. There is a video. You can click the link and watch the video. Let us take the joint A and find the member force in AB. To find the member force FAB, we have to apply this rule. This is acting towards the left side, so it will be negative. And this is acting towards the right side, so it will be positive. For FAB, we will get 1. Let us enter all of the values of K. Then we have to find PKL upon A. We will get this. We need to add all of these. After adding, we will get this. This is the formula to find the deflection. Summation of PKL upon A, we have already found. We can apply that. The Young's modulus for all of the members is the same. It is given in the question, we can apply that also. Finally, we will get the horizontal deflection at B. We have got a positive value. That means our assumption is correct. The horizontal deflection occurs towards the right side. With this, we can multiply 1000. So that we will get the deflection in millimeter. Now we are going to find the horizontal deflection at D. We have to remove all of the loads. And then we have to apply unit load at D in the horizontal direction. You can see that I have removed all of the loads and I have applied unit load in the horizontal direction at D. We have to find these three reactions. Let us apply this rule. This is acting towards the right side, so it will be positive. And this is acting towards the left side, so it will be negative. For HA, we will get to 1. To find VA, let us take a moment about B. VA is acting in the clockwise direction, so it will be positive and the distance is 8. So 8 to VA. The unit load is acting in the clockwise direction, so it is also positive and the distance is 6, so 1 into 6. For VA, we will get a negative value. That means the assumed direction is incorrect. VA is actually acting downwards. We have to change the direction. Here I have changed the direction of VA. 
let us use this rule and find vp this is acting downwards so it will be negative and this is acting upwards so it will be positive for vp we will get 0.75 in the joint c by applying the rules sigma v is equal to 0 and sigma h is equal to 0 we will come to know that the member force in CED and the member force in BC are 0. Let us take the joint A and to find the member forces. Let us apply this rule. This is acting upwards so it will be positive and this is acting downwards so it will be negative. For FAD we will get 0.75. Let us apply this rule. It is acting towards the left side so it will be negative. And this is acting towards the right side, so it will be positive. For FAB, we will get 1. Let us take the joint B. When we take this, no need to consider the zero force member BC. Using this rule, we can find the FBD. We have to resolve FBD in the horizontal direction. To keep it horizontal, we need this angle. So with the FBD, we have to multiply cos 36.87. Since it is acting towards the left side, it will be negative. FAB is also acting towards the left side, so it is also negative. We know the value of FAB 1. Let us apply that. Finally, for FBD, we will get minus 1.25. The values of P, L and A we have already found in the previous step. Only we have to enter the values of K. Then we have to find PKL upon A. We will get this. After adding them, we will get this. Using this formula, we can find the horizontal deflection at D. For that, we will get 0.902 millimeter. We have got a positive value. That means our assumption is correct. The horizontal deflection occurs towards the right side. Now we are going to find the vertical deflection at D. We have to remove all of the loads from the truss and then we have to apply unit load in the vertical direction at D. You can see that I have removed all of the loads and I have applied unit load in the vertical direction at D. We have to calculate these three reactions. By applying this rule for HA we will get zero. To find VA let us take moment about B. VA is acting in the clockwise direction, so it will be positive and the distance is 8, so 8 VA. The unit load is acting in the anti-clockwise direction, so it will be negative and the distance is 8. For VA, we will get 1. Let us use this rule and to find VB. This is acting downwards, so it will be negative. These two are acting upwards, so both of them are positive. For VP, we will get 0. By applying the rules, sigma V is equal to 0 and sigma H is equal to 0 in the joint C, we will come to know that the member forces in CD and CB are 0. Then in the joint B, we can apply the rule sigma V is equal to 0. In this way, for the member force in BD, we will get 0. And then we can apply the rule sigma h is equal to 0. From that we will come to know the member force in AB is also 0. Let us take the joint A and to find the member force in AD. Let us apply this rule to find FAD. Both of these are acting upwards so both of them are positive. For FAD we will get minus 1. For K let us apply all of the values. Then we need to find PKL upon A. We will get this. After adding this, we will get 30,000. For the vertical deflection at D, we will get 0.146 millimeter and the direction is downwards. Now we are going to find the horizontal deflection at C. We have to remove all of the loads and apply unit load in the horizontal direction at C. You can see that I have removed all of the loads from the truss and I have applied unit load in the horizontal direction at C. We need to find these three reactions. By applying this rule for HA, we will get 1. To find VA, let us take a moment about B. 
V A is acting in the clockwise direction, so it will be positive, and the distance is eight, so eight V A. The unit load is acting in the clockwise direction, so it is also positive, and the distance is six. For V A, we will get a negative value. That means the assumed direction is incorrect. V A is actually acting downwards, so we have to change the direction of V A. You can see that I have changed the direction of VA. Let us use this rule and find VB. It is acting downwards, so it will be negative, and it is acting upwards, so it will be positive. For VB, we will get a point seven five. In the joint C, we can use the rule sigma V is equal to zero, so that for the member force in BC, we will get a zero. Let us take the joint A and find the member forces. Let us use this rule. This is acting upwards, so it will be positive, and it is acting downwards, so it will be negative. For FAD, we will get a point seven five. Let us use this rule. This is acting towards the left side, so it will be negative, and this is acting towards the right side, so it will be positive. For FAB, we will get one. Let us take the joint to B. Using this rule, we can find FBD very easily. It is acting upwards, so it will be positive. We have to resolve FBD in the vertical direction. To keep it vertical, we need this angle. So with the FBD, we have to multiply cos 53.13. It will be acting upwards, so it will be positive. For FBD, we will get minus 1.25. Now let us take the joint C. Using this rule, we can find FCD very easily. FCD is acting towards the left side, so it will be negative, and the unit load is acting towards the right side, so it will be positive. For FCD, we will get to one. Let us enter all of the values of K. Then we have to find PKL upon area. We will get this. After adding them, we will get this. For the horizontal deflection at C. We will get 0.902 millimeter for the horizontal deflection at D and C. We have got the same value with the same direction because C and D are in the same single member. If we only consider the horizontal deflection, the member C D will deflect in this way. So this deflection will be equal to this deflection. That is why we have got the same value. Now we are going to find the vertical deflection at C. We have to remove all of the loads from the truss, and we have to apply unit load in the vertical direction at C. You can see that I have removed all of the loads, and I have applied vertical unit load at C. By applying this rule for H A, we will get a zero. To find V A, let us take moment about to B. B A is acting in the clockwise direction, so it will be positive, and the distance is eight, so eight to B A. For these two, there is no perpendicular distance, so except V A, there is nothing. In this case, V A will be zero. By applying this rule for V B, we will get to one. In this truss, except B C, all of the member forces are zero force members. Let us take the joint to B and find the member force in BC. Both of these are acting upwards, so both of them are positive. For FBC, we will get to minus one. Let us enter all of the values of K. Then we need to find this. After adding this, we will get this. For the vertical deflection at C, we will get 0.351 millimeter. Now we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.